So is there any kind of relationship still with Alito and, and Mark Ronson, or is that pretty much done? Yeah, there's no, there's no relationship at the time. You know what I mean? Like, we, we parted amicably, you know what I'm saying? Alito Records and Ryan Fest, we parted amicably. So it's, it's like not to say that there'll never be anything done with Mark again, but you know what I'm saying? Under J Records and Mark Ronson, the Ryan Fest brand was not moving forward. It, it you know, it, it did a joke, and then it just kind of stagnated, you know what I mean? And it's because of various reasons. You know what I mean? Like, different people got different interests. You know what I'm saying? And when I saw that the interest wasn't Rhyme Fest, I had to be interested in myself. So here we are. Well, when you started working on El Che, you were still signed to Alito and to Jay, correct? To Jay Record, yeah. So did you think they just dropped the ball with that project, not knowing what you were, I guess, capable of creating with the El Che record? I think they dropped the ball on Blue Collar. You know what I'm saying? Like. The ball was dropped long time ago, you know what I'm saying? But when you're, what people don't understand is when you're under contractual agreements, you know what I mean? It's hard when the ball gets dropped, it's hard to, you, you try to pick the ball up yourself and be like, here man, take the ball, hold it, hold it. But they be like, uh, and then they drop it again, you know what I mean? Then you're like, you know what, I'm taking my ball and I'm going somewhere else. I'm going to play with people who know how to play this game, you know, and so, um, I just was like, basically, man, would y'all mind if I take my ball and be up? And that's what I did. Why did you just part ways with J Records? I mean, Ryan Fest was going down. The ship was sinking. You know what I mean? The album wasn't coming out. Oh, we'll put it out then. And I go tell my fans it's coming out then. Oh, we're not going to put it out then. Oh, we'll put it out then. And people don't understand. Like, they don't blame the label. They blame you. They don't see that, man, I made three albums. And they like, we don't feel like we can get it on Hot 97. Well, so what? You know what I'm saying? So what if you can't get it on whoever radio station or whoever TV show? Like, there's a way to market hip-hop to grow a cult following and still sell records. Like, like these aren't just the only barometers for success. You know what I mean? And so, but to them it was, you know what I mean? And so, if they didn't see me fitting in there, like, the whole thing on Ryan Fest is I don't wear a rapper suit. Like, I don't wear a rapper outfit. So right now we're doing an interview. I don't got on the glasses, the chain. I don't got on, you know what I'm saying, the, the cane go. I don't got on, like, I just don't wear the rapper suit. And it's like, because I'm more than a rapper. I'm a philosopher. I'm a, I'm a spiritual, I, I'm a spiritual. I'm a spiritualist. I am a politician. I am. I'm, a, I'm so much more than a rapper that the rapper suit is too small for me. Every time I put, if I put on a rapper suit for you right now, it wouldn't even look right because my spirit is bigger than that. So it's like I don't wear the rapper suit. And it's like, well, if you don't wear, if you ain't into the shoes, the sneaks, like the, you know, you know what I'm saying? Which I'm not, I'm not a sneakerhead. If you ain't into this, if you ain't into that, what are we selling? And I'm like, I'm selling something that's intangible. And like Tupac sold something that was intangible. And so, if you don't have vision. If you don't believe in me, you're not going to be able to sell it. And they weren't able to sell it. You know, you're saying that, that J Records didn't know how to like push you, but you came out with Blue Collar. You came out with an album for you the working man. You can't sell that. You can't sell a working man. You can't sell a working man. The working man don't work. <laughs> God, that's dope. The working man doesn't work. Um, I was just about to say the working man, like how the workman can't work. The like, working man, they can't sell a working man a recession, to a working man. The working man is out of a job because of that type of shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So like, the, the blue collar doesn't work, and you know because it's like who wants to be reminded of their own life? And that's what I had to realize. Even though the songs were bigger than that, the songs on blue collar were it was your own life, but it was happy endings. Mm -hmm. And we don't always get happy endings. 
and I tried my best to put happy endings onto the songs of Blue Collar, like Build Me Up, you know what I mean, or even the Citizen Cope song, Bullet, or, you know, so, but it's like, it was, when Blue Collar came out, you gotta remember, Laffy Taffy was the, the rule of the day. That was what was hot then. Like now, it's different. Now you got like cool kids and this and that and different Wale's and uh, uh, who else? Kid Cuddies. So Blue Collar might have been perfect now. In fact, ahead of its time. If you really go back and listen to it, very much ahead of its time. All right, so you parted ways with Jay Records, but now. You have a new deal. Can you start getting into the new um, deal? It's independent. You know what I'm saying? So, like, my new deal is with EMI Distribution and DN Entertainment, Dangerous Negro, DN Entertainment. And basically, man, it's, man, here goes some money. Go do what you do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And and once we do the L Chain, I'm about to transition as an artist. I'm not finna just be sitting up here rapping and rapping and rapping and shit, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like people don't appreciate that. I'm finna um, put out this album, and I got a group album coming with some shot down cats I hooked up with, Juice, uh, Twan Gabs, Mickey Austin, we doing a group album. Then I want to do, I want to do a band. I want to do like an Arrested Development type joint. I'm doing a Spoken Word. And it's got like singers in it and dancers and just all types of crazy, a band and crazy stuff happening. Have you ever thought of doing a record with like an Eminem? I mean, you did battle him and, you know, even on Man, video, he's... Shady he's... 4 5 when he play my records. I don't even know why. You know what I'm saying? But they got a... The DJs are all cool with me, cool. They can't interview me and they can't play none of my records. And they were given an order from corporate not to play no Rhyme Fest. I don't know why. Like, I don't even know what it is, bro. I don't know why. You know what I mean? And it's, it's fucked up. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's already enough that FM radio don't play no records from artists like us. You know what I mean? Then you go to a station where they supposed to play real hip-hop. You know what I mean? And they don't play no Rhyme Fest. So, I don't think that that's an order from Eminem. Like, I don't even think Eminem know, to tell you the truth. There's no way he would. No way I could see Eminem or Dane in that bullshit. You know what I mean? But, they don't play my record. So, it's like, sometimes, I mean, I don't know. You know what I mean? Because even with M in the video that came out of your battle at, you know, Scribble Jam, he had the utmost respect for you. And I got the utmost respect. Man, that, you know, I won a battle, you know what I'm saying? In 96 of all times, like 10 years, 15 years ago. Like, Eminem won the won a war. You know what I mean? Eminem's, Eminem is, man, G, like, he's one of the best rappers ever in history, ever. I ain't even there yet. You know what I mean? I ain't one of these rappers like, yo, man, my shit is, the, you know, my shit is hot. My shit is dope. And, and there's very few percentile of anybody fucking with me. But Eminem is out of this world. You know what I mean? And so, um, yeah, man, I don't care about that. That that little battle, that don't mean nothing to me. You know what I mean? Play my motherfucking record. Playing with me. 